Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today in this video, we'll be downloading top five crazy Android app for 2024. This is October part one series. And if you missed my previous video, don't worry, I'll throw a card on the corner for you guys right here, which is the Android Must Have playlist. You can go scroll down. Those apps are completely free, awesome. And these apps are completely free as well as crazy as well. So if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. And thank you so much to my viewers and subscriber who's been helping this channel grow faster. I really appreciate that one, guys. Thumbs up for you. And for disclaimer purpose, these videos are for education purpose only. Once that's out of the way, let's get started. Number one is called Addy.io. I could be pronouncing it wrong, so it's that spelled as A D D Y.io. So the whole purpose of this application is it is of an email forwarding client for you. So this is a one of the great feature that it is inbuilt an iOS device. That means every single time you want to give your credential like email address to a third party source and you can tag somebody in. That means, for example, one of this marketing email company then you could give a, a random generated email address that whenever you sign up that the similar thing happens in android here as well so let's go with this application so obviously the first interface you will see what it is and then if you have an api key you can put that api key if you are a new user like me then guess what this this is what the registration process starts you press next next and obviously how it works out it will generate um, like beforehand a random email address for you to sign up for different providers for example if you want to see something and they're asking for email address then usually you provide your genuine email address but by using this application what uh, you are preventing is you're preventing uh, you're generating a, a random e email address uh, that will redirect to your actual email address so that means you can know and you'll be able to tag that uh, company then you'll know those email has been sent forwarded to you by those emails so let's go how it works say this is like spam we gets holding to you alias and then it's to start sending unsolicited email then this is a very very uh, effective tool and if you use it properly i've already signed up for my own email address as you can see that's my uh, that's my well, obviously my username here and i've shared one domain here as well to a recipient and and then your username domain rules and how much bandwidth you have used so it obviously has certain bandwidth being as a free user but the overall what it gives you extra pair of hands it will make sure that your email address is very secured your email address is not given to a spammer or so if somebody gets hold on to your email address guess what happens you're going to get flooded with a lot of spam email but using this application that will prevent for good so this is one of the good one and you can comment down below if you like this application or not or if you want me to do in the review or you want uh, what sort of situation you have used this email address for so let's move on to number two is called win letter so win letter it is an, a very much sort of a, a emulation for your device so if you want to use windows on your device guess what you can do that i did recently did one now another one which is the emulator for your device as well which is a next level one but this does a similar thing but a very simplest way so if you just want to run windows you press plus and then just press tick and you'll be able to see it's creating a container so that means it's, it's a separate box inside your operating system and if you press play and you'll see Oh, let me zoom in a little bit for you guys and you'll be able to see what it does so this is a sort of a windows uh you know experience uh you will be running here so obviously it will be like windows 98 or something if you can see it here or not and then obviously programs uh, if you want to play some games so overall you can run a windows emulation on your device as well and you can install a program here and you'll be able to enjoy this application uh, without any problem so this is a uh, uh, emulation for you number three is called a next cloud so next cloud it is one of the great application you can install on your device doesn't matter whether you are an android user or ios user or any sort of user and you want some sort of a backup or you want some sort of cloud storage for free guess what this is the application you should install the only caveat the only thing you need to do is you need to set up a next cloud on your a spare device for example if you have uh, any sort of a uh, old laptop or old pc or anything then you can create that as your home server and you can back up all this thing as you can see right here that's 12 gig of my photo that means i personally use nextcloud 
as my media server as my obviously backup device as well so this is the easy process you can uh, follow the instruction there's uh, everything in online but if you want me to do something like that you can comment down below and you'll be able to get unlimited cloud storage that means depending on your hard drive how much you will install in your, in your server and you'll be able to enjoy it and i got a lot of things like proxmox skype this is how you can install through the proxmox and you're going to set up with the next cloud. i got a guide here already here with the zfs and everything if you want me to do something in the in the review and that one i can do that as well for you guys or if you want to go look further you can do that but obviously comment down below and i will help you by using the next cloud you'll be able to back up everything all the photos automatically you don't have to go through google photos you don't have to go through like icloud or anything this works for you both with device android as well as ios i recommend using a next cloud i personally use it and this is a one for versatile application and sort of open source application you can install it as well so this is a good one and there are a lot of extension as well you'll be able to get a calendar your to-do list and things like that but again uh, give it a try and comment down below and then what sort of situation you have used or you want to use this one for and we can move forward before it's called material os the so material os it is and again another icon pack so completely free uh, everything will be linked in the description below for you guys as i mentioned before so there are a lot of icon pack you will be uh, able to see but out of those this is what i'm using at the moment so this is os icon pack this is sort of a different one it does resemble your stock icon pack with your samsung but if you're not using samsung device but you're using some different device you will see a lot of changes in there again i'm rocking a nova launcher here at the moment and i could select a nova launcher which is a different icon pack and you must be thinking how i'm gonna get it so if you go into settings and you go in looks and fields and then style you can see i can style press that and icon theme and you're able to select the system wise or material os so which is material os that's what i'm rocking at the moment and whatever shape i want to get it i want to show up just one round one that's uh, that's what i wanted so that's how i got it here as well so this is a material os i can pack so this is a good one again available on a link in the description below for you guys so let's move on to five and the list but not the last is a panel so panel it is an, a wallpaper application uh created by mkbsd so i love that guys he's a tech a review as well so that's what he created this one and the beauty of this one it, it actually works out of the box so you don't even have to sign up as you can see again completely free if you want to sign up you're more than welcome to do that but i don't i haven't even signed up yeah uh, whatever depending on you know, what sort of a situation you're using dark system light again up to you whatever i can uh, you know i can you want to set up as in like a, one of those uh, application icon i set it as a default but the beauty of having this application is there are a lot of uh you know a creator out there that have created their own set of uh, wallpapers and then you want to go um, from different website and download that but instead of doing that you can do this one this way as well there are a lot of things that you can do with this particular application so uh, there's some a uh, paid version you want to pay you're more than welcome to pay as well there recently i haven't paid it but the beauty of having this uh this particular application is you're going to see what it means so for example for like and then shout out to justin so i really appreciate uh, the person that who created this wallpaper so if you want to get this wallpaper you press get wallpaper if you want to download this one to the hd or you want to get an ad free with the full resolution again entirely up to you but if you just want to go ad free obviously you have to be in premium i just want to press download once i press download you press set wallpaper it's applying as you can see there's no system interaction in there so and when i swipe up you can see this wallpaper has been already added in there as well so this is one of the great wallpaper engine let's go try a couple more um wallpapers again make sure you whenever you select one of them so that means that obviously that's a paid one obviously premium one uh for example if i want to just just get that then i just want to select that obviously shout out to this person as well who has done this hard work so press get download hd and then set wallpaper boom the wallpaper is all set and the background so this there's not not much of an animation wallpaper on the free version 
but I don't know whether this is available on paid version or not. But as far as I know, this is a one of the great wallpaper engine. You'll be able to get it without any issues. And this sums up my total top five crazy Android app for 2024 October part one series. And if you have tried all of this application, then obviously uh, comment down below which one is your favorite one and why you're going to use it for. And if you have any sort of suggestion for this channel, guys, comment down below as well. I'm definitely going to work on that one. Or if you want me to do any sort of a review, for application you can comment down below i'll definitely gonna do that as well and by the way guys be happy stay safe this is genius x6 sunny out peace